It was Vasil Lomachenko against Richard Comey. Let's talk about it. All right, Fight fans, it was the great Vasily Lomachenko putting on a heck of a performance against Richard Comey in a lightweight title fight. I'm going to start out by saying I did get this fight right. I picked Lomachenko by unanimous decision. The Lomachenko I saw last night was the Lomachenko that I picked to beat Teofimo Lopez. And of course, I got that fight wrong. This was the guy that I was expecting to see. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. First of all, a pro for us fight fans, it was actually a really good fight. Let's start with Richard Comey first. Richard Comey came out using his height. You saw how much bigger he was than Lomachenko in height and weight. I thought that he did a good job the first two rounds trying to rough him up. It seems that he was going to take trying to take a book, if you will, out of Orlando Salido's book and trying to stay in close and rough up Vasil and maybe try to land that that beautiful straight hard right hand that that he has the cons would be for richard is that he stood right in front of Vasily. he did not give enough upper body movement his head was up too high he did not give a, a, enough lower body movement by lower body movement i mean his feet let's go over to Vasily. let's start with the pros the pros were that this has this saying has been used a lot of times but you have heard people say he used everything he had in the toolbox. Vasily Yomachenko used everything in the toolbox last night. He was using his jab. He was going downstairs. I'm talking right hooks to the body and straight left hands to the body. He was going upstairs, jabbing straight left hand upstairs. He was throwing a looping left hand. He was throwing right hooks. He was throwing quick left uppercuts. He really just was in rhythm and had everything going last night. As for the cons, for Facilli, nothing. I thought that he was on point all through the fight last night. Now, let's talk about the fight. The first two rounds, I thought that Richard Kami actually did a pretty good job. He was working his game plan. He was trying to set up Lomachenko for that straight right hand, the one that gave him 27 knockouts in 30 fights. But then by the third round of the fight, uh, begin to change so let me go back to the second round actually by the second round i was a little bit concerned with Vasily because i didn't really see him giving enough movement and it seemed that he was you know to me seemed like he was kind of wanting to stand in front of richard a little bit but then the third round it came together and it kind of reminds me of what he said at the end of the fight when he said that he tries to take two rounds to figure a fighter out by the third round Vasily had it all going he had the foot movement going. He had Richard figured out. He figured out what angle he wanted to go in at. And he started mixing up his punches. Vasily looked a whole lot like Roy Jones, prime Roy Jones last night. What I mean is this, the quick foot movement, the quick upper body movement, the counter punching. And Vasily's hands looked so fast last night that just like prime Roy Jones, there was times when he hit Richard and I didn't even know where he hit him at, like in the seventh round. I had to see the replay to realize that he hit him about five times when he knocked him down. He threw a jab. He went down to the body with the left hand. I didn't even see that punch. He went down to the body and immediately he went up with a straight left hand on the chin. He got, he got close to Richard. Richard's chin went up and he just threw a, a beautiful short left hand that put Richard down. And props to Richard for not only getting up but finishing out the fight because I agree with Lomachenko. They probably... Could have considered stopping the fight. And I'm saying that because when Richard got up at one point, he almost fell because he was still off balance. His equilibrium was off. You know, his his right leg, you could tell he was trying to put it down, but it tucked under his knee and he almost just went down on his own. Be that as it is, his corner and himself had confidence that he could finish the fight. And he did. And hey, and to Richard's credit, Richard fought all the way to the end of the fight. Anyway, the rest of the rounds. I thought the Lomachenko just totally outclassed him. We get to the end of the fight. Vasily Lomachenko, unanimous decision. So now where do they go from here? As for Richard Comey, he has lots of options he can go with. He has nothing to be ashamed of. I think that he fought a good fight. I just really think that he was outclassed by the better fighter last night. As for Vasily Lomachenko, we know that there are quite a few fighters he can fight in the lightweight division. There is Devin Haney, Gervonta Davis, and there's Convulsus over in Australia. 
Now, Lomachenko said uh, he, that, he would work, that he would like to take that fight over in Australia, and it sounds like that's maybe who he wants to fight next. Now, I would like to actually see him get his hands on Gravante Davis. I would like to see Lomachenko get his hands on all of these, on all three of those guys, but particularly Gravante Davis to kind of get this uh, thing out of the way that he's a pay-per-view star because I'm still not happy with the fact that his fight was a pay-per-view fight. I don't think Gravante is even at that level yet to be considered a pay-per-view fight. I don't care if the fight was 1995. I don't think he's at that level yet. But what do you think, fight fans? Who do you want to see? Combosis? Do you want to see Haney? Do you want to see Davis? Or one day, do you want to maybe see the Tiafimo Lopez rematch, which I don't personally think it happened because I think Tiafimo is going to be going up in weight sooner than later. But what do you think? Give me a comment. What do you think about Comey, the performance? What do you want to see him fight next? Who do you maybe want to see Vasily fight next? Other than that, fight fans, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. That's all I got. I'll let y'all later.